Hey guys, we're gonna do something new today. This is the custom corner. I just wanted to introduce you guys to the uh, Cobra Crow, covert recon offensive weapon. And it's basically just a uh, repainted snowcat um, with a gantry attached to launch the Night Raven drone. Um, this was born out of necessity for me because I don't have a Night Raven. <laughs> um, I have the drone, but I didn't have the Raven to launch it from, so I needed to uh, construct something that it could um, that could deploy it. And this is kind of what I came up with. Um, of course, you guys know the Snowcat is an amazing platform for customs. Um, it's just got so much going on for it. You know, a half track is always amazing anyway. And, uh, um, they're just great to do, you know, nearly anything with. Um, so this one got a repaint. Um, I added a gantry from a, uh, Lennard core, um, Raptor drone playset. Um, I added a radar dish to it, which also, uh, helps support the gantry when it's in, uh, travel mode. And, uh, we added some, uh, some, uh, Rise of Cobra, uh, Night Raven stickers to, uh, to this. Of course, we got some Mars. I got a little LED light in the cockpit right now just for, uh, just for effect, you know? And, uh, yeah. Okay. So this guy out of the way. He's not really the pilot, but he matches pretty good. So, um, but yeah. So, uh, when we want to go into launch mode, um, we just tilt the gantry back into an upright position. And we lower our radar dish. So they can track it with radar, you know. And, uh, it's ready to launch. And the drone just, you know, um, just launches straight off the gantry there like a normal, uh, like a rocket would. And, uh, yeah. Um, I always, I always like the Night Raven drone. Um, I always really like the Night Raven. Um, it's really hard to find them in good shape these days. Um, but you can find the drones anywhere. And so, you know, I picked up a drone. And, uh, I dig it, you know, but I needed something to, to deploy it. So, uh, this is, this is what I came up with. This is it without the drone on it. And, of course, this flips back and that flips down. I got to get some hydraulics going on here and whatnot. And, uh, still, you know, your basic snow cap design, of course, but... Uh, with a twist. <laughs> Cockpit. All in tan. Got LED in here just for kicks. Uh, got a little bit of detail. The console. I uh, taped off a viewport and uh, masked the rest and, and blacked it all out so it's more armored than glass. And, uh, I thought that would make it more, you know, uh, suitable for a, for a military vehicle. Um, uh, just a big windshield, you know, is sort of impractical. So I figured I'd armor it up, put a little gun slit in it, you know. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, a little bit of sticker work. It was fairly easy. Um. This modification wasn't too hard. Uh, I had to change a few things around on the on the mounting system, um, and uh, and I had to cut a few notches and, and mount it. It wasn't really that, that big of a deal, but uh, it uh, turned out turned out pretty good in my opinion. Um, it's uh, definitely something unique and different. And, uh, 
Uh, it's a good way to deploy a, you know, a drone from the battlefield uh, without launching a you know, full-on aerial assault. And, uh, yeah. Anyways. Um, uh, I dig it. <laughs> uh, and I hope you guys do, too. And, uh, of course, if you guys got any awesome customs like this, uh, let me know. Uh, send me some pictures or something and we can, we can, uh, we can feature them in, uh, in this new segment, Custom Corner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed and, uh, stick around because, um, we got lots of, uh, photo shoots to do and reviews to post and, Lots of good stuff coming up. So uh, hang in there and we'll see you next time. All right.